So the epoxy putty on the rail buttons have cured. Um, I went ahead and I did a dry fit of the entire motor assembly and fins. And as you can see, they all fit real nice. I had to do some sanding on the centering rings to get the fins to fit. But you can see that everything is in there nice. So uh, it's a good dry fit, so we can actually start gluing. So now we're going to install uh, the motor mount assembly that we've done so far into the, uh, into the bottom of the rocket. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to put a bead of glue around the bottom edge. And I'm going to keep it out of the fin slots because we're going to use our fins as an alignment and we don't want the fins to glue in there. So I'm just using some tight bond three. I'm just spreading the glue around. I'm clearing out the glue from that got into the fin slots. So now we'll put the engine mount in. And we'll take our fins and we'll use that to align them. So I'm pushing the mount down against the fins. That way it'll be lined up all the way around the base. We're going to let that sit for just a few minutes while the glue tacks up, but not enough that we can't pull the fins out. So the glue on the aft centering ring is now dry and the next step is to tack in our fins with super glue. And what we're going to do is we're going to put super glue on the root edge and then on this back edge only. This will be going up against the motor tube and this part of the plywood will be going up against the the aft centering ring. To use this you want a thick wood glue so I'm using some tight bond CA uh, for wood and it's a pretty thick glue to start with. I'm also going to be using uh, some Instabond accelerator. I'm going to spray that into the tube where the contact parts points are so uh, the glue will, will Cure faster. Yeah, I'm going to spray a little bit of activator. I'm putting this fin. And then we're going to hold the fin for about 30 seconds. And that fin is set. So I'll do this for the other three fins. Okay, the fins are now tacked into place with super glue. 
The next step is going to be to apply some epoxy to all the contact points. We're going to put epoxy where the fan meets the motor tube, along the bottom where the fan meets the aft centering ring, and then we want epoxy along the fin slot where the fin comes through the slotted tube. So for this, I'm going to be using a combination of 15 minute epoxy and some uh, rocket epoxy. I want to use the 15 minute epoxy where the fin meets the body tube because there is slight gaps on that and I want that epoxy to be able to seep in through those gaps and seal it up. Okay, the epoxy is done. I've covered every single contact point uh, that was down there. I used a combination of 15 minute epoxy and some rocket epoxy depending on where the application went. It is a bit messy, but no one will ever see this and these fins are not coming off. So, uh, so yeah, so now we can uh, move on to the next part of the build. Okay, we are ready to add the forward centering ring. I mixed up some uh, rocket epoxy and you can see I've just smeared it everywhere in there um, on top of the fans, around the body tube, and around the motor mount. So we're going to now just install this and let it push down all that epoxy. And I have a screwdriver ready to use to help align the fins into the fin slots. Okay, that took a little bit of doing, but the forward centering ring is now installed. Um, I did have one section over here where I pushed the ring down a little bit too far. So I've just filled that in with some uh, extra rocket epoxy. Uh, it'll be fine once all that hardens up. So uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a fillet around the top here and then around the body tube. And then we're going to let that cure for quite a bit. Okay, it looks messy, but that entire centering ring has got a nice fillet around it uh, with rocket epoxy. I also put a fillet around the motor tube as well. So this is going to be very strong once it cures. So while we're waiting for that, uh, we can actually start on the nose cone. <laughs> 